going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I finally got a refrigerator for the SUV Stealth Camper build. Let's go open it up and check it out. This is the 20 liter refrigerator by Albicool. I went with this size because my SUV is relatively small, uh, but and this is just for uh, shorter trips, you know, three to five days. I would not recommend this if you are living in your vehicle or your van, I would recommend at least a 35 or 40 liter um, refrigerator. Let's see what else it comes with. Okay, two options for power source here. One is regular outlet for your home. That's the outlet. And then the other is a DC um, port for the uh, for your vehicle. So this will power it up while you're driving through your cigarette lighter. Or in my case, I'm going to hook it up to the Jackery, which is going to be uh, receiving power from the solar panel. Just to get started with the testing, get it primed up and uh, set it to max, max cool, which is negative four degrees. Fahrenheit. Uh, when I do get this up to freezing temp, I am gonna switch it over to Eco. It's gonna save a little bit more power, uh, reduce the amount of draw. But for now, while we have it plugged up to the house, we'll set it at max, uh, max cool, and get it cold first, and then I'm gonna hook it up to the Jackery to test how much draw it has to maintain maintain a good temperature. We're starting the test at 57 degrees at 9.45 a.m. We will check back in an hour and 15 minutes at 11 o'clock to see how cold the inner temperature is going to be. I'm hoping that one hour is enough to get it down to at least 32 degrees and we'll check back at 11. One thing that's kind of random is it has a USB port over here. I'm not sure if that has any other function besides charging a device such as your phone. In case you're curious what the weight of the refrigerator is. 19.4 pounds. As far as exterior dimensions, the very widest portion of the cooler are the handles. It measures out to be about 22.5. 22 and a half inches wide. As far as max depth is 12 and a half inches. Max height is also 12 and a half inches. So it's only been 15 minutes, 10 a.m. And just as an update, it's already at 14 degrees internal temperature. So it dropped down more than 40 degrees uh, in temperature in just 15 minutes, which is pretty impressive. I was expecting it to take a lot longer. Uh, once this gets down to zero or below, I am going to switch it over to Eco. And if you are planning on having this fridge in your vehicle full time, is to have enough space between the panels and these ventilation ports. Since if you are going to run this thing on max full time, uh, this will tend to get relatively warm and you want to make sure that there's enough space for the air to circulate. One question you might have at this point is how much stuff can you really fit in a little 20 liter fridge like this? Let's find out. So this is what I'm able to fit in the fridge so far. This is 10 soda cans and 14 water bottles. The reason why I'm able to stack a couple more on top of the other drinks and go above this surface is there's a pocket on uh, the inside of the fridge cover. So decent amount of room. You might be wondering if some taller items such as these juice bottles will fit in there um, and answer is not all the way so if you have bottles like this you would have to lay it down 
interesting thing is there's a Bluetooth logo right here, um, but I don't see anything about it in the user manual. So I'm not really sure what that function is for. Uh, if you can connect to your phone and there's an app. If you do happen to know what that's for, please comment below. Okay, we're finally below zero degrees. So I am gonna switch this over to Eco and turn it down to zero degrees. I'm gonna switch the power source from um, the wall outlet to the Jackery and uh, hook it up on the DC port to see how much draw it has. Okay, it's now hooked up to the Jackery. Starting the test at zero degrees and see how much draw it has to maintain that zero degrees. And we're starting the Jackery at 99% battery life. Uh, so far it's drawing four watts. Um, we'll see, I'm expecting this to raise maybe in the 40s or 50s. If it does need to power up the compressor to maintain the temperature, we will come back in one hour. I'm also gonna be sticking a water bottle in there uh, to see if it's gonna freeze over that one hour period. I just heard the compressor kick on and it does look like it draws 35, 36 watts when the compressor kicks on to cool the fridge back down. Looks like it's been maintaining the temperature to be anywhere between two degrees and seven degrees. Um, can't keep up with zero, but that's asking a lot for a refrigerator. And as far as battery life after one full hour, it is now at 91%. We started at 99. So it drew about 8% of the battery life in one hour to maintain about two to seven degrees internal temperature. So at this rate, this Jackery is able to power this fridge and maintain its temperature uh, for at least 11 hours, but nobody runs their fridge at this low of a temperature. So I'm sure if I turn it up to like maybe 34 degrees, that it's gonna be able to um, last even a lot longer than that since the compressor won't have to kick on as often. Also keep in mind that this is only a 240. So if you have a Jackery Explorer 1000, it's gonna last at least four times as long. Even though the fridge does draw 34, 35 watts whenever the compressor kicks on, that, that is not a constant rate. Uh, it only comes on whenever the temperature reaches a couple degrees above the um, target temp. It only kicks on for maybe two minutes and then turns back off. So that's why it's only uh, in eco mode, it, it draws very little power. Since I have a 100 watt Renogy solar panel that I am hooking up to the Jackery, which supplies a lot more um, wattage than this draws, in theory, it should be self-sustaining as a permanent refrigerator for the SUV. And uh, the battery bank should still have excess power for other items to be plugged in. So after the one hour, it is not frozen frozen, but it is starting to freeze. See some ice in there, but it's not solid frozen. I'm suspecting this is gonna be fully solid after another hour. And for testing purposes, I do wanna know how much draw this has in max mode so let's put it back on that and turn the temperature back down to four to force the compressor to kick on and let's see how much it draws it does draw a noticeable amount more 41 watts sometimes i see it 42 watts when the fridge is on max but it does look like um, the temperature comes down a lot quicker uh, so there is a trade-off. Uh, so if you are going to run this fridge around 34 degrees, which is what I would recommend for a regular refrigerator anyway, so not everything you put in there freezes, uh, it is going to draw a lot less if you put it on eco mode. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the performance from this Alpicool 20 liter refrigerator combined with the Jackery Explorer 240. So I'm gonna be keeping this and I'm gonna be installing both in the Pathfinder and I am gonna be installing my Renogy 100 watt solar panel on the roof as well. 
So if you are interested in keeping up with my budget SUV stealth camper build, consider subscribing to my channel. If you found today's video to be helpful or useful in any way, make sure you hit that like button. It definitely helps me out. But this is going to be it for today. See you in the next video.